Is studying game development a waste of time? Should you skip university, learn it on your own and jump straight into the industry? Hold on, before you make a decision, let's talk about it. For that, we are diving into the pros and cons of studying game development at university. And I will be sharing my own experience so you can figure out if this path is right for you. And trust me, by the end of this video, you will have a much clearer idea of what to do. But before we can talk about the benefits or downsides of doing a game development degree, let's take a step back. What does one actually look like? Or more specifically, what did my degree look like? Because the experience can vary a lot depending on the university. I did my master's degree in games at the ITU Copenhagen and it took me two years to complete. And the program was divided in two different tracks, one for designers and one for programmers. And I obviously took the tech heavy track. Some courses were predetermined and you had to do them, some were overlapping between the design track and the tech track and some courses you were able to choose on your own. Overall, some of the courses were incredibly valuable and exactly what I expected from a game development degree. Others, not so much. One of the best courses was making games. And during that course, we built several small game prototypes in rotating teams, which really helped to learn the importance of teamwork, clear communication and staying cool under pressure. It all ended with one bigger final project for which we had I think two months. And honestly, this was one of the few courses that felt like a real game development. Another highlight was game world design. It wasn't as technical, but it really helped to understand what it takes to build a believable game world. And the project my group worked on even got us a booth at the Nordic Game Conference. Which was an amazing experience to get a taste for the real industry. Now let's talk about the teachers. Some came from a purely academic background, but if you are lucky you get an industry pro. One of the best was my graphics programming instructor. He worked on games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Watch Dogs 2. And his AAA background brought a much more hands-on practical approach to the course through which he made the tough topics really easy to understand and way more engaging to learn. But as mentioned earlier, not every course was a banger. For example, Games and Culture had a big focus on writing research papers related to games. Which honestly felt more like a detour if your main goal was to build games. Also, data driven design and development wasn't my favorite either. But to be fair, it did offer some useful insights on using data to develop and adjust games for specific audiences. And then there was the master thesis. The focus of it was honestly pretty flexible to choose because you also had the chance to focus on a portfolio piece as long as it included a scientific angle. My group ended up working on an AI director similar to the one in Left 4 Dead. The goal was to explore how an AI director can be utilized to influence player behavior. So yeah, that's a general overview of how studying game development at university can look like. Of course, there were more courses than I can cover here and every program is different. So going through every single course wouldn't really make sense. Rather, let's talk about what really matters. Is it worth it? Let's start with the downsides. Not every course will feel relevant. Universities tend to emphasize theory and if you are eager to build games, writing research papers can be frustrating. Some courses will seem disconnected from hands-on development and while having a degree can be helpful, it won't land you a job on its own. Studios tend to prioritize portfolios over degrees. So in the end what truly matters are the projects that demonstrate your skills. If your university program leans too heavily on theory, you'll need to spend extra time working on personal projects to build a strong portfolio. As you go down deeper into the curriculum, you might notice some parts that already feel a bit outdated. The game industry moves fast, but universities might lag behind. Sometimes you will be taught tools or workflows that aren't really used anymore. And like I mentioned earlier, not every teacher has industry experience. 
Some come from purely academic backgrounds, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it can lead to less emphasis on real world practices or current industry standards. But wait, before you completely write off studying game development, let's look at some benefits. Game development is a highly collaborative field and the people you meet during universities can be invaluable. The connections can even lead to startup projects and lifelong friendships. Finding like-minded people who share your passion makes the journey much more enjoyable. On top of that, universities usually force you to work in teams, just like in real studios. Unlike solo learning, where you might follow tutorials alone, working on team projects teaches you communication and an understanding of different roles within a team. Then there's also the possible advantage of internship opportunities. Some companies have programs designed specifically for students, making it easier to get your foot into the door of the industry. Additionally, universities also provide very structured learning. When you learn game dev on your own, it's easy to get lost in endless tutorials without a clear direction. A degree program ensures you cover fundamental concepts rather than just cherry picking topics that seem interesting at the moment. And if you decide to study abroad, you get even more out of the experience. Not only do you gain a degree, but you also experience a new culture, expand your international network and grow both personally and professionally. For me, that aspect alone makes the university journey worthwhile. But with all of that, should you study game development at university? Well, it depends. If you thrive in structured environments, enjoy teamwork and want networking opportunities, university can be a great choice. But if you're self-motivated and just want to build games on your own, you can learn everything on your own, it just requires more discipline. One major advantage of universities is that it gives you time to explore. Maybe you think you want to be a game developer, but once you dive deeper, you realize it's not what you expected it to be, especially when working in big teams. Universities are a low risk way to figure that out. So what do you think? Is a game development degree worth it? And if you have studied game development yourself, share your experiences in the comments. If you are interested in more topics about navigating the game development jungle, make sure to subscribe because I will be making more videos like this in the future. With that, thanks for watching and see you next time.